Hello fairy friends, it is Liz and I am back with a video. This one is for Tammy Lasky and I hopefully hope it has a little something in it you that will help you and if not maybe someone else. Um, in the one of the last videos you did, you talked about how oil paints are difficult to get your hands on in Canada. You can get the um, artist oil paints and forgive me I forget what you said the drawback was for those the artist um, oil paints um, if it's just n not you know the consistency that you want or it's not what you're used to or you need a larger quantity not really sure what the issue was but I dug out my artist soft oil pastels and I believe I got these at um oh, I want to say I got them at Hobby Lobby, but I have seen um, the artist oils even at places like um, our Staples office supply stores. Um, I guess it would depend from store to store, but um, they're surprisingly easy to find. They're not, uh, you know, difficult, and some artist stores might sell them uh, separately. Here's the brush that I chose. And I picked out the deepest red color, and this is Carmine. And uh, it did not go on as a true red. It's more of a hot pink. So that would be the only thing. I, I would want to check my uh, local art store to see if they maybe sell these separate. So I can add another one to the set. Because there's not a true red in this set. And this came on um, and it looks more like a hot pink. Which to some that might be just fine. This doll might look perfectly fine but I really would pr prefer a little bit more of a red so the colors are highly pigmented it says in the in the box and also from using them I know they're highly pigmented and there's not a lot of residue um, like with the chalk pastels um, there's no fallout there's no powder that you know goes everywhere that you have to clean up but you brush it on really a lot like a thick um, lipstick really is, is what, how it went on and you could even um, use it for the cheeks and the chin or any type of blushing um, just you know kind of a little bit dot it lightly where you want put a couple dots and then use a makeup sponge to kind of rub that in I know with the regular pastels that artists use for face-ups, they use that for blushing and they also use that for eyeshadow and that's the, the chalk pastels and they do like that fallout, the powdery and that's kind of how it gets the effects that they're wanting. So, and this just has all the colors and then their numbers. Um, just in case, I don't know, I don't use these a lot. Um, in fact, probably the last time I did a serious art project with them uh, was in high school. So, I don't know why I purchased them initially. It wasn't for dolls. I think maybe I had an idea for a art project. <clears throat> but anyway, um, if anybody knows of a place um, online where you could get these. I know there's tons of art places. Um where you can get things individually. Somebody knows the specific red that we're wanting. That would also be helpful. So that's just me reading that, which I mean, you can read it for yourself, basically saying all the things I just said about there being no fallout. Um, the only thing is when you use chalk pastels or oil pastels, you need to use a fixative. Um, that's like when you're on doing something on paper or canvas. And with dolls, we know we need to seal uh, our work. So you would need to seal that because, again, it's like the lipstick. It will smear. So it's not permanent. It's just one of those uh, things that doesn't set on its own. So, I mean, it's good. There's no drying time. You don't have to wait for it to dry to go ahead and put a sealer on it and this didn't add a lot of bulk it's not thick you know like acrylic paints and oil paints makes a raised surface so 
when I do find the red that I'm looking for, I will not have to take this off. You could if you wanted to, I'm not going to. I could add the red and deepen that color and I can build up without bulking up the lips. So, I'm not really getting to the edges on the lips like I'm wanting. So I'm trying to figure out how I could possibly, maybe with a different um, size brush, because that brush and the shape of it's really great for getting at the, the actual crack of the lips, the crevice, and then pulling outwards. So that size is really perfect. But then for the outline, I would suggest a different, you know, maybe a liner brush would work better because although the color is I wouldn't say creamy it's bordering on creamy it's not as workable as paint here is me touching up the blush I wanted to show the um, I get um, just drugstore um, blush and try to get it on sale this is elf uh, uh, the brand elf blush palette and only one of these has a sparkle to it the other three are a um, matte and unless you're doing like a modern doll of some sort you wouldn't really want that sparkle effect um, and then I know a lot of people do this it's it's really really good it's it is the equivalent of using the artist chalk pastels because it's basically a powder it's a pigment as well <clears throat> So if you put too much, you can use the other side and wipe it away. Take it back down a little bit or you can seal it with a spray, a light spray, and then you can build up some more. Or you can just do a little temporary fix. These don't, I believe they do not degrade the plastics or composition or the existing paint. So a little light dusting of this every once in a while when you just want to give your doll a little prettying up. Like this doll has some paint removed on the right cheek. So someday down the line I'll, I'll address that issue. But for now, she's getting gussied up for St. Patty's Day. I made her a little scarf and put a little crochet trim around it. And this is me examining the dust on the face. That I didn't see before I put on my magnavisors. Thankfully there wasn't any dust on her lips. That would have been not good. Um, so forgive me for that if you see the dust particles around her face. Poor little dolly. And I'm just kind of inspecting how the color didn't get all the way up. So I'm thinking and putting my thinking cap back on and thinking I'm going to add uh, a product called DuraClear. It's Americana DuraClear High Gloss Poly, Poly, I cannot speak today. Polyurethane Gloss Finish. That was never a tongue twister before, but apparently it is now. <laughs> and then I just put a little dot on my little palette. And I've already had the uh, oil pastel color loaded up in the brush. So I'm just kind of working that into the gloss and this is what saves it when I go to apply it that gets that color moving and fluid enough to get to those edges of her lips and even with this thin gloss it is not bulking up those lips at all so I can go over them when I find the red that I'm looking for. I don't, I won't have to take this all off if I don't want to. So anyway, I hope that helps. I'm sure it's not a um, cure-all for all of the things that you needed from your oil-based paints, but every little tiny little tip that we can um, have in our arsenal is really good because each doll, as we know, we go from doll to doll and each little doll might need a, a new little trick. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps somebody and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.